Hi guys, it's Tracy from The Lost Artichoke. Welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to make a super simple pico de gallo. I know I've mentioned a few times on my Instagram page that I have a ton of tomatoes that are turning red right now. So I was like, what am I gonna do with all these things? Um, so I thought, you know, there's only so much um, marinara and gazpacho I can have. But a pico de gallo is something that will save and keep in your refrigerator for at least a week or two. Um, and then I really use that on a ton of things. I mean, you can put it on top of uh, a grilled chicken. You can put it on tacos. I use it in omelets in the morning. And then clearly just the obvious thing is just using it as a um, salsa with chips. So um, it's, like I said, super simple. It takes about five to six ingredients. So if you stick around, I'm gonna show you how I quickly put that together. Okay, so like I said, it's only gonna be about five to six ingredients. So I am gonna start with the tomatoes. I've already chopped um, about five of them here, um, but you're gonna just rustically chop them into little cubes. Um, and the size of the tomato is gonna to be about that. If you have larger tomatoes, then you can cut that in half. But I always use a serrated knife um, like this because it cuts into the tomato a little bit better than um, the normal kind of knife. So, we're gonna chop these quickly, and then the next step, we're gonna add in some, um, some jalapeno. And that is not for everyone, so if you don't like a ton of spice, then you can omit it, but I like a little bit, so you know, you can put a full um, jalapeno, or you can put a, a half. I'm gonna do a start with a half, and then I'll go from there. So I'll come back to the tomatoes, but I wanna just kind of show you all the steps. So I'm take the seeds out of the jalapeno. If you're adding that, you wanna take that out, that's the spiciest part of the jalapeno. And then see it's diced in little tiny cubes, so you're just gonna take your other knife um, and you're gonna chop it into little strips like this. And then we're gonna quickly chop it into the tiny little, you don't want big chunks of jalapeno in your pico, so. There we go. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna start with about a half and then I'll taste it and if it's too, if it's, if I want more spice, I'll add in the rest. Um, so I don't know if you guys know the difference between a pico and a salsa. So pico de gallo really is um, more of a fresh uh, version of the salsa. Usually in salsas, they will roast a tomato or they'll cook it, they'll kind of puree it. Um, and a pico is all, all fresh ingredients, there's no cooking involved, which, I love because I think you can taste that in the pico. Um, and as I said before, it's like super easy. So, um, all right, next step, we're gonna take about a cup of uh, white or yellow onion. I had a large one, so I'm gonna cut this in half. And again, you want them to be really rustic pieces. So you don't want your um, onions, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, we're not, we're not, you know, um, in a fine dining restaurant, you're at home, and that's the fun of it. So we're gonna cut this into, like I said, small pieces. I mean, this onion's already been cut for, so. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure you, have, you hold your fingers like that when you're cutting with um, an onion or anything so that you don't chop off your fingers. And you can just slowly move it back as you get near the end. And I always flip my onion over like that to get that last bit so you get all the good parts of the onion. You can kind of flip it back. All right, so I may need to cut a little bit more, but it's going to roughly be about a cup of onion. Put that in. Oh my gosh, I can already smell it all. I don't know if you guys cry with onions, but I do sometimes. Um, and I, if you have any tricks of the trade, clearly share them with me because I don't know what they are. All right, the next step is your cilantro. So you're going to do about a fourth a cup of cilantro, or excuse me, um, a half a cup of cilantro. And again, this is the theme, but very rustic. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you know, you just want to. Um, Chop it up enough so that you don't get huge chunks of so 
cilantro, kind of eight different angles, like that. And then we're just gonna toss it in. So we toss it in. And, you know, after you taste it, you can kind of change, you can add more, um, more of things, but I would, um, you know, go on the side of, uh, of caution of like less is better until you, you try. So then we're gonna take a lime and we're gonna put about a fourth of a cup of lime juice. And that gives it that acidic boost. It brings out all the flavors in, on your onions and your tomatoes. It's gonna bring out the juices in those. Um, and you know, you wanna let it marinate in this for a little bit. I'm gonna start, that's not quite a fourth a cup. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna open this other lime and then I'll get the rest. So it's probably about one full lime um, to get that fourth a cup, but you know, depending on the size of your lime. All right, so we're gonna throw that in. And again, if you need more, then do it. And then we're gonna use about a tablespoon of just sea salt. So I use this Malden sea salt, it's my favorite. It's kind of chunky, so you have to break it up a little bit. And I'm gonna give that a stir. And you know what, I did not um, get a spoon. So if you, give me one second, I will this. And we're just gonna toss it. And it's gonna look like that. So, I mean, like I said, super simple. There you go, we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put it in my mason jar. I'm gonna put a top on it, and it's gonna last for about a week, week and a half. And I bet you, if you try this at home, you are never gonna go back to normal Pico de Gallo again um, from the grocery store. So, uh, again, I'm sure a ton of us have tomatoes out there, so I'm excited for you guys to try this recipe at home.